People frequently ask me how they can play music or a video during a team's meeting and have the audience actually hear it. It seems easy, right? But the button to make it work is tiny and not that obvious. On top of that, you had to be in the Teams desktop app to make it work. So people like me who rely on the Teams web application, we were out of luck. Fortunately, that's no longer the case. So today we're gonna talk about how to share your system audio properly using the Teams desktop app and the web application. There are a couple slight differences. So let's jump on in and take a look. I'm in a meeting with Diego and I want to share with him a little bit of video for the OneNote webinar I'm working on. I'm in the Teams web application where Open Share Tray is at the bottom of the screen. You will see the sharing options and I'm just gonna select Share Screen. At the top of the window, you see a dialog box where you can either share the entire screen or the tab. In the bottom left-hand corner of the dialog box, you will see the little tiny checkbox for share system audio. Now, because I'm on the entire screen option, you'll be sharing the audio for the entire computer. This includes any notification sounds such as incoming email or people pinging you on Teams with chat messages. Now, if I choose the tab option, I get a list of all the tabs that I have open and I can select my YouTube tab here and notice it says share tab audio. The key takeaway here is that with tab audio, you're just getting the sound from that tab only. So if I select this YouTube tab, the only sound I'm going to get is what's coming from the video. So I'm gonna click share so you can hear a small sample. Quest, we're going to talk about OneNote. So let's just pretend I played the whole clip for Diego so that I could get his opinion on the video before I publish it. I am going to navigate to the Teams desktop application and join the same meeting so that we can take a look at the small differences for sharing our system audio from the desktop application. The share window is in the upper right hand corner. And when I click on that, you will see all of the share content options. The Include Computer Sound toggle button is right here at the top. The primary difference is when you turn the computer sound on, it's going to share the entire system audio, regardless of whether you choose to share your screen or if you choose to share just a window. There's also no option to share just a tab from the desktop application. So for example, if I wanted to share the same YouTube video with Diego from the desktop app, I would include computer sound, and then I would use a screen share versus a window share so that I could pull up the YouTube video as one of the tabs from my desktop. Now you know how to properly share your system audio in the Teams web and desktop applications. If you'd like to learn more about Teams, check out the playlist on the screen now, and I'll see you in the next video.